All right, I'd like to share with you how I got audio into OBS from an ASIO audio device, okay? So um, my DAW is Nuendo, and I'm using a Mo2828 as my input-output. And when I first had this issue, I went to, when I first had the issue of audio not getting into OBS, I went to the forums, and I found a couple of resources, uh, two videos specifically, that helped me solve this problem. Now, I also found a second solution, but I prefer this one. I'm going to show you the one I prefer first, and then I'll show you uh, the other method, and you'll see why I don't prefer using that one. Okay? So, okay, we're, you can see my OBS. Let me show you the resources, give credit where it's due. This Produce With Me video, uh, this is how you set up your OBS. And in order for this to work, you're going to need this plugin. This OBS ASIO plugin. I just downloaded this installer, ran the install, and was good to go. Okay. This other uh, video is for Cubase, how they routed their signal through Cubase. Now, Cubase and Nuendo, our sister programs, are both made by Steinberg, and they share probably like 95 to 99% of the features. So it's pretty straightforward that way. So I'm basically combining these two videos into a one resource okay so let's uh let's look at the motu audio console and okay this is use wave rt that's for the second method um we'll get to that uh in either me both methods uh you're gonna need this to be set up uh and what you're looking at is this return assigned that's what's most important because the returns in the Motu is what OBS is going to look at, but they need to be assigned to something. So I selected two unused outputs. One through six is being used on my system for my monitors. So seven and eight are available. So I assign the returns to analog seven and eight. Okay. Okay. Let's go into OBS. Let's create um, our audio sources here. Um, how you're able to hear me is through these two audio sources. Uh, but I created a scene here with no audio sources, so I can go through the process of creating them for you. So add a source, click the plus sign, and because of that plugin, you see this ASIO input capture. So we want to click on that. Uh, let's set up the DAW first. All right, that's what's coming out of the DAW. And we want to select our device, as I said, Mo2. So Mo2 Audio ASIO. We want a stereo format. And now we can't select a channel. This is a bug in OBS. I'm not sure why this is, but to get around it, you just click OK. Then right click on your audio source, click on properties, and there you go. Now you can select something. Now, as I just showed you in the audio console for Motu, uh, we're signing uh, available outputs to the return. So we want OBS to look at those returns. So for left and right respectively, you know, channel one with return one, channel two with return two. And there, that's how you set up the, uh, what's going to be coming out of your DAW. And of course you need a microphone. So again, select ASIO input capture. And let's just microphone. Okay. So again, let's go to our device. It's a Motu. We only need mono. So select mono. And then here we get that little bug again, so click OK, then go to the microphone, right click, properties, and now we can set it to any input we want. Uh, now for the microphone, I'm just plugged into the front panel of the Mo2 Mic Instrument 1, so we're going to select that. And keep in mind, see how these are all individual? Okay. Uh, so when we get to the using the RT Wave, uh, you'll notice something, uh, that they're not individual. But anyways, we'll get there. So go ahead and select that, and now here, um, what you're, what's actually being recorded <clears throat> is this mixing and video uh, scene. And here's the preview of OBS. This is the one we're working on. So now if I cut, fade, or go over to this OBS, you should still hear my voice because we just created uh, a new input for it. So let's go. And yep, you can still hear me still see the level here. I'm going to bring these down a bit because when we play audio through the DAW, it's going to be a bit hot. 
Sweet. All right, so now we have at least the microphone coming through this new scene we created and the new um, mic input, uh, microphone input source. So, okay, let's go to the mixer. Let's go to right screen. And we'll set up Nuendo, set up the Q bus. And you want to go to your audio connections, which I don't know if it's the original hotkey, uh, F6. If that's not the original hotkey, because I've changed these hotkeys a long, long time ago. And some are still original, some aren't. But anyways, go to the studio tab, audio connections. You bring up this window. And we want to go to our control room. Okay, and if it's not enabled, go ahead and enable it. There's some default uh, buses in here, but we're going to add a new one. So add channel, add a queue. Let's label it to OBS. Sweet. <clears throat> and <clears throat> let's, excuse me, expand it. And we want left. All right, so in our audio console, OBS is looking at the returns. And those returns are assigned to 7 and 8. So what do we want the audio in our DAW to go to? Yeah, 7 and 8. Audio routing, a lot of fun. Okay, so we get that set up, and now we want to look at um, the control room. Now we want to send our audio channels or the output, our main bus output, to uh, the Q bus that we just created. So let me bring up, come on, mixer. We get to that screen. Actually, we can look at this OBS demo screen that we just created. So let me go back to so. As you can see, OBS demo. This is what we want to hear the new audio out of. Um, but let's close this real quick, or at least hide it, so you can see my mixer. Um, now the Q buses that you create should show up in the racks, but as you see, they don't because I don't have them visible. So go to racks, click on the arrow, and. You have all your options, Q sends, and now you can see the cues that we created. And the one that we created is to OBS, so let's activate that. Let's pre-fader. I like to go post, but do what you do for however you have your signal routed and how you want to control the level uh, going to OBS. And now let's open up the right zone, and you can see our two OBS bus right here. All right, now let me... Yep, I brought that down just so whatever's coming out of the DAW isn't too hot. Let's hide that. And let's hit play on my editor. And now we got sound. So you can see here in the OBS uh, bus, we have our signal. Let's bring uh, OBS back up. And here we can see our signal. Here are probably fire effects and lightning effects. All right, so all right, let's stop that. So that's how you set up. This is my preferred method, all right? And now let's go to the other method uh, with the RT wave uh, driver. I believe it's a driver. Yep. Yeah, it's an audio driver. This is like from 2009. So yeah, this is the other me uh, method that I found in the forums. Um, so I gave it a try before I I started doing this video uh, to show you the method I just showed, um, but I came across the other method. I want to give it a try, see which is better, and I just decided to do both. So, uh, as I believe you saw this earlier, you want this uh, selected, use Wave RT for Windows Audio. Okay. Go back to, we're in OBS demo, yep. Let's go to, let's go to a different screen, because I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete these and recreate new ones. So let's go back to a scene where you can actually see what I'm doing and you won't lose my dialogue. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at the same thing. But here we are, the sources for the OBS demo. Let's uh, delete them so we can start refresh. Okay, so we're kind of back to square one, right? At least we have our Motu and our DAW set up this time. So, um, with this method, you don't need that plugin that I showed you, the OBS ASIO plugin. So you won't see this ASIO input capture, but you can still use the what comes with OBS, uh, this audio input capture. So let's go DAW, type DAW, there we go. <laughs> All right, now uh, you can see the properties window is different, and we want to go to our um, device and what we were looking for, the returns. That's what we want to look at. 
right? So we select returns. And you notice this is completely different, right? You don't see the individual ones. Now you see them in pairs. So we go to our returns. OK. And let's create the microphone one. Audio input capture for a microphone. We'll just go mic this time. I don't feel like typing. And now we can select our instruments. But again, we have one and two. And this is why I don't like this method. So if I select it, and now let's go to our, let's, uh, so you can actually look at the OBS demo. Okay, now we have, you can hear me. You can see these are brand new, so all the levels just jumped a bit. So let's bring them down a bit. Now, you hear me in your left channel. This is why I don't like this method, because it's based on a stereo pair, and I only have one input being used. Um, now, there is a way. I know uh, some editing softwares, uh, video editing softwares, you could probably split the audio channels, and then you can just delete the channel that has no signal on it, and you're back to it probably center pan it and then you're back to where you want to be right you, you, you get it centered but i'm not using an editing software you can probably tell from all the ums and pauses i'm just filming this on the fly right so um yeah that's the issue with this uh particular method but just to show at least the still doll works i'll hit play on my um on the window and i can hear this okay Cool, so these are the two methods, and now you see why I prefer one over the other. And let's go back, so I'm in both. Uh, yeah, now I'm back in both speakers, in the middle of your head.